Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me taking spin. <laughs> Sorry, my cat is just, she's so distracting. Like, look at this. You're so crazy. She's like one of those aggressive cat um, head butters. Like when she wants your attention, she just rams into you. <laughs> anyway, today is gonna be me showing you another video of spin. Uh, so many people like that video and actually reach out to me and say how they enjoyed watching me take spin. So I decided to film another one. This one's a little bit different than the last because they switch up the routine every week and the music. So every every class is a little bit different. I hope you enjoy this one. Definitely like the video, subscribe, and um, we'll see you in there. Okay guys, so the first thing I like to do is set up my bike. I adjust the handlebars, making sure the height is good for me, as well as the bike seat. And if you're new to spin, the instructor will usually help you set up your bike. Here I am strapping in my feet, making sure they are tight, and making sure my shoelaces are out of the way. Now I'm going to set up my bike, putting in my information, making sure it is synced to the front of the class. We always start out each ride with a light upper body stretch and some lower body stretches as well. Okay, so now we are starting up the warm up, and we are starting on the lightest tension, which is white. The colors go from white, blue, green, yellow, red, and red being the highest, the heaviest tension. So throughout the warm up, we're just slowly increasing the tension. That way, we can really warm up our legs and get our bodies ready for the hard work to come. Now that the warm-up is over, we are getting into the hard work. We are doing a steady, moderate climb, and the fan is blowing my hair into my mouth and face. As you can see, I'm starting to breathe a little bit heavier now and starting to build a little bit of a sweat. Okay, so now we are doing some standing work, doing a standing moderate climb. In this spin class, we do battle work which is where they divide us into teams one and two, and we battle to see who can win. It is an all out battle. You go your hardest, as fast as you can, at the heaviest tension, and then you take a rest afterwards. You can see the screen on my bike is showing red. It's actually a fiery tunnel, and that means that is the hardest that you can go. When the battle is over, you can see at the front of the class on the screen um, who won the battle and it shows what bikes are in that team. So this battle work is essentially doing HIT, high intensity interval training, where you go out your fullest, your hardest for about 30 seconds, and then you take a rest for about 20, 15, 20 seconds after, and then you repeat that. So that's essentially what we're doing. 
High intensity interval training HIT is really good for weight loss. It actually helps you burn calories up to two hours after your workout. There are different types of HIT that you can do. Some people like to do different exercises and throw them all together for about 15 minutes. And then other people like me like to do it on the treadmill where you sprint and then you walk and then you run and then you walk. So I'm pretty tired here. I'm definitely feeling fatigued and my hair is driving me nuts. This is the last interval, and so I'm going to give it my best. I'm gonna push myself my hardest. And as you can see, I am in the fire ring tunnel in red, which means I am going full out. Sometimes in class we play games or trivia and the instructor will ask us questions and we will answer and she will give us prizes if we win. And today I actually answered one of the questions and got it right. So I ended up getting this headband, which was actually perfect because my hair kept flying in my eyes and sticking to the sweat on my forehead. So I actually really needed it. Now we are doing a standing heavy climb and you usually want to be in the color yellow, which is almost the hardest, or red. Sometimes we do lifts where you go up and then you sit back down and you go up and back down again and you repeat that throughout the song. And then other times we just hinge at the hips and set our hips back far. That way you can get um, your booty work in and it really fires up those glutes and gets your butt burning. This is actually pretty hard towards the end of the workout when you're exhausted and fatigued. So I have to remind myself to be light on the handlebars and not put a bunch of weight on my arms. So as you can see, I am pretty tired. Now we are moving into a heavy seated climb, keeping our tension at yellow and then at the end, we're going to really push it and push ourselves and get into the red. At this point, it really feels like I'm pushing my bike through the mud. Like I'm scraping mud off of my feet each time I pedal. It is very heavy and it is very difficult. Okay, so after every climb, there is a descent. So now we are on our way down the mountain and we are doing quick, fast pedals and really light tension. So just then, the instructor was showing us a summary of our ride, miles that we went, the calories that we burned, and the power that we used. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me do spin. 
Um, if you're ever interested in taking spin, I highly suggest it. Just get yourself a bike seat from like Target or Walmart. They're only about $10. Uh, it's definitely worth the money because your butt will thank you. Trust me. Um, but anyhow, definitely try spin. It's so much fun. I know it's my favorite. It's what I love to do. So I highly suggest it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, you're crazy. I love you so much. Even though you're crazy. <laughs> Seriously? Look at how she's laid. While I'm trying to film, like, honestly. Honestly. You're not spoiled at all.